Yo, 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 up in here, your boy Vasily Garage. What we got going on today? We're gonna go get the dang alignment done on this thing. You know, I think I just do some more vlogging on the on the builds. I haven't done much lately, but uh, I gotta go to the post office and I gotta, uh, I traded my Delso for a uh, for my CRV. And uh, what happened is uh, the guy left his uh, Lincoln Park CD in the CRV. So I'm gonna return his CD and I'm gonna give him some Vasilic Garage stickers up in here. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna head up to the alignment place. I got a new camera kit in the rear. Excuse me, no camera in the front because I'm running 70 by 9 plus 45 and the wheels is already on there. It's on the ready on the fender. So for me to get a camera kit for the front, I can't bring it anymore out because it's gonna stick out like a uh, like an off-road truck and that's not my style. So I'm only doing camera kit in the rear. Plus the OEM uh, 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 bar joints and everything is good. Well, actually the passenger side, I had a uh, aftermarket deal going on. Oh, excuse me, got the K2 up in here. And uh, Anyways, just inside track here. But uh, yeah, I got the had like some kind of like aftermarket camper in the front, and it didn't look good. So um, it was the bar joint was bad. So what I did, I just bought a whole new arm with the bar joint factory and put it in the front. I don't see much difference. I know sometimes they change them. They put those adjustment deals because uh, in case the car ever be wrecked. This is a guy uh, to own a car never been in an accident and uh, doesn't have any damage underneath the car in the front, all original panels. So maybe they try to get it with spec. Well, now that I lower the car, I don't care about the really OEM factory specs because it's all gonna be negative camber all over the place. So that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, get it close to uh, where it, uh, it's gonna save me tires, which uh, by the way, I got these tires in the back. Uh, what are they? Lexani? Lexani, I don't know. They weren't that expensive, but 500 thread wear. So since this is my daily and I drive a lot, I want to put a lot of miles on those uh, tires. So I didn't really go with uh, performance uh, tires for that reason. Uh, if I want to go crazy, I either jump on my bike or I'll jump on my, uh, jump on Monica, you know what I'm saying? Go beast mode, you know? So. Anyways, I'm gonna go by the post office, drop that off, then I'll catch you at the alignment place. And uh, one of my boy uh, Trevor, uh, he's done Monica, and uh, really, 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 really cool guy. Uh, both of these guys that work there, they take a lot of pride in their work and what they do. They do a lot of uh, low riders, and uh, you know, well, guess I live in Arkansas, he lives in Missouri, so uh, don't be judging his shop now because it's ain't all high baller shops like that around here. But uh, it's all about getting the job done and putting that food on the table for your family. So yeah, catch you guys in a bit. Okay. Places I gotta go to go get my car alive, man. This guy lives in the freaking woods, man. He lives in a booty, man. He lives far. So far I gotta drive to get my car too. If you don't know who that is, that's my boy, uh, what's his name? Uh, I think of his name. I'll put his Instagram down below. But uh, yeah, yeah, he's got the Jesus uh, after right there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, he's got some really clean cars. You know, it's worth checking it out. Check out his Instagram. But yeah, we're still driving. It took me about. It takes me about a one hour to get to this guy's uh, uh, place. Yeah, buddy, getting closer. How it is? We are here. This is the neck of the woods, yo. Do you know? I'll show you guys this shop. If some of you guys uh, are close by and uh, want to get a good alignment, there's somebody that uh, know what they're doing, especially with the lower cars. This is it, right here. Yeah, buddy. 
417-475-3520. That's it right here. Yeah, buddy. Let's get it in. When I walk in here, I'm just scared this fool with the camera. I'll be like, be like, what's going up in here? Uh, hey, ready? we're back. Yeah. This is my it. boy. What's your name? Trevin. Trevin. He actually worked on my uh, uh, Monica. Monica, the yeah. red car. Actually, yeah. I didn't get that on the video. But since y'all tripping that I don't do vlogging anymore, I figure, hey, you know, I do a little more uh, stuff like tricked out. I'll just, uh, uh, I'll put it on the camera and show you guys. So again, guys, this is a phone number, 417-475-3520. If you want something done, especially for lower cars and stuff, you know what I mean? I know my seat is way back there, you know? Yeah, Feel free to adjust it or whatever. Now, in case you guys watching this, you guys might not know, but actually I brought this car here earlier last week and I had a problem with the camera kit in the front and the camera kit in the rear is all seized, so I wasn't able to, uh, and, uh, he said, hey man, don't even worry about it. Come back and I'll redo it again. But those guys are cool. The guy in the back is kind of camera shy. He doesn't wanna, he don't wanna, he don't wanna say nothing, you know? This is the time if you wanna say so. Because when I send you the leak, you're gonna have to see yourself in there. Be like, man, look at me. I look so embarrassed, man. Yeah, and what was your name again? Albert. So Albert and Trevor, these two Vatos locals, man. They always work together up in here. And I forgot, yeah, and also they're gonna help you with the tires, you know? So, again, uh, make sure you check these guys out, you guys are local. Uh, make sure you bring your car to these guys, man, he don't play around. I'm gonna get it done up here. here. That's a 235, 45. <laughs> Don't go monster on those tires. Don't go monster on those tires. Only, I'm the only monster up in here since I'm drinking it. A little bit. No, just, yeah, one size uh, narrow. We'll go 235. Is it gonna do it? Can't handle that damn K24, man. K24, man. He's a B serious kind of guy, man. Look, 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 look. Somebody look at this. Oh, excuse me. No wonder you don't have customers. No wonder you don't have customers. That's <laughs> for sure, man. But I appreciate you, man, for real. Yeah, that was good work, man, right there. I can hear him. So what do you think of the exhaust? Pretty good or what? Good. I like it. Not too loud, huh? Yeah, not too loud. So now this is gonna be on YouTube, you know. Do you have anything you wanna tell anybody out there, the car community, uh, anything? You got anything in mind you wanna say, share a word of wisdom of It doesn't matter anything. It doesn't matter what kind of car it is as long as you do something with it. Right? I don't care if it's a muscle car or an import, it don't matter. So a lot of naysayers out there about the imports. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, I'm a VA guy, yo. I'm a VA guy. You a VA guy? Yeah. I'm a VA guy. I mean, I drive four cylinder because gas mileage, but I'm a VA guy. All right, guys. Catch you in a bit. Thanks for tagging along, huh? Well, forget about the other guy, you know? He's probably, he's going to do some grocery shopping now, you know? Yeah, he's not coming. Wow. I did say peeps, but about to go out of here now let's see how this thing drives huh new tires new alignment <laughs> excuse me bro new wheels new exhaust new camera kit man i got it up in here
they go together you can't just really put a whole bunch of uh, camper negative camera on your car and leave the toe the way it is it's gonna throw it all up your tires are gonna go like <laughs> like that every every month your tires anyways guys thanks for talking along uh playing around with this tsx uh and i'll catch you next time huh if you have any questions feel free to uh uh uh, comment down below if you want to check out my Instagram usually I post more stuff on my Instagram uh, because uh, it's just a lot easier I'm not really on the YouTube a whole lot but uh, yeah check out my Instagram check out the, the builds I always post there on a daily basis uh, which kind of brings me to this guys uh, some of you guys might not know this but uh, there's a lot of you guys out there that are having the same passion as I do Regardless if it's a, uh, you know, automotive or uh, two wheels, you know, motorcycles or uh, whatever else it is, you know, I, in a way, I kind of use this platform uh, uh, the, with the cars uh, to also like uh, share my life uh, with some of you guys, uh, my story. A lot of people say, hey, what's your story? What's your story? What well, the story is? Uh, Everybody has a story, nonetheless. But the story is... I don't know where I was going with this. See, I look so stupid right now, huh? Like, yo, Vasile, listen to yourself. You sound so stupid, eh? Uh, no, seriously. I use this platform to share my life with you, what I do on a daily basis, uh, in my home, uh, in my house, my wife and kids, and also... Uh, share my belief as you some of you guys uh, uh, may know a, or not know that I'm a believer uh, what I mean by a believer I'm a Christian I'm a Christ I'm a newborn again meaning that uh, now wait 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 don't just click off on this video and go on with your day gotta finish what I have to say then you can get up you know do your thing no I believe that uh, 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 Christianity and uh, uh, believing in Christ, it's a free choice, no doubt about it. Uh, I will never force, I will never push Christianity or my belief on anybody. Uh, you know, I believe that God uh, was the beginning. He created the world, He created the earth, the human being, humankind, and uh, everything else is on this earth. And I believe that we're here for a purpose. As human beings, you know, we know that uh, there's good and bad in us. And uh, as y'all know, that's why he sent his son Jesus to die for the earth, for the humankind, for the sinners. That one day we're going to reunite with God, Christ in heaven, by believing in son Jesus and repenting from our sins. And uh, that's kind of my main goal here, believe it or not on this earth, me and my family, is that we live a life, 
Christ-like and it's hard and this is hard jokes aside I mean it uh, being a Christian being a believer trying to live a righteous life it's hard temptations it's all over all over think about it you know look around you name it so it's tough at times but God gives us the power and the energy it gives us the Holy Spirit to guide us through this life where we're able to make uh, right decisions and right choices now, I don't know if it was a good choice but I made the right decision about lowering this car you know what I'm saying uh, putting all this camber key throwing this this exhaust maybe it was a bad choice but we do those things because that's what we passionate about and that's why we're here that's why you're watching this because we share this passion that we have for the automotive culture industry and there's more to that everybody has a life you know what I mean but anyways we can touch more on this subject later on if you have any questions you want to chat about it I'll be more than happy to talk to you about it but I want to let you know seriously that I do care. I do care about the world. I do care about the, our brothers and sisters all over the world. People that are facing problems. And yes, I do share the good news with everybody because I want everybody to go where I'll go. You know what I mean? If I built a clean car, I want to give all these tips out to everybody so they can build a clean car. So they can achieve the same thing I achieved and even better than what I achieved. You see what I'm saying? But uh, that's kind of the thing with that. In the end, you know, the choice is all yours, my brother, my sister. But anyways, I gotta watch this road. It's raining up in here. It's supposed to be like frizzy, wordy weather. You know, watch the road kind of thing. You know, I don't do that. I don't watch the road, man. Check my phone. Check my Instagram. Check my YouTube messages. You know, yo, you watch the video. I might be just driving by I'll be checking the messages, you know, don't, don't, don't be doing that, I'm not encouraging that, don't be texting and driving now, you know, I get to do that because I'm an expert, anyways, uh, thanks for tagging in guys, uh, you know, I, don't, I haven't been doing a whole lot of vlogging about uh, uh, the cars and stuff like that, so I'm trying to I do a little bit here, a little bit there, so uh, hopefully I don't freak you out, hopefully I don't just uh, uh, make you run off. Uh, I'm just here to be a friend, and I'm here to uh, hang out and uh, make some friendships, you know, some of you guys out there. Believe it or not, yes, you may say, yo, I'm so far away, you don't know me, I don't know you, yeah, that's right. But you can always make friendships, you can always encourage others, even though I may not know you, you may not know me, but my intention is to care and to pass on and to help on and to motivate and give on to others as, as it was given to me. You see what I'm saying? So, I keep saying I'm gonna get off of here, but I'm gonna do it for real this time. Y'all be blessed, don't forget you're awesome. I do care, I don't care what you think, but I do care about each and one of you guys out there watching these videos. And this is my message to you. God loves you, my brother, my sister, my dear friend, my dear Bato Loco. You know, God loves you. And so do I. Y'all be blessed.